Ryan of Miss Geek here, and we're here for part, uh, I think, seven, which is L12. So L12 is the inductor that gets installed right here. And guys, this is going to be easy. I wound this in another video, so if you want to watch that, make sure you check the link in the comments below here, or in the description below, to get that. So this is the beginning of the windings, and this is the end of the windings. These are our taps. And we're gonna just make a nice point on these. And to the instructions, uh, we're in uh, L12, step six. We're gonna turn these into little points. There we go. There we go. And the start goes here. So this is a start. This is gonna go, this right here is going to go, let's see if I can get you some magnification and lighting. Uh, I think that's better, hopefully. So this one is going to go here because that's the end. The start goes here. And then we're going to get in here. This one will go here, this one here. And well, it'll go in like that. Pretty, pretty obvious where it goes. So to do this, uh, I'm gonna start with just one of them and that's gonna be the end, because it looks easy. Okay, that's in. And then the beginning. More work with the tweezies here. Okay, now, next is this one. I don't even think I need the tweezers for that. And it just goes right in. Yep, that one went right in. And the next one, I am gonna want the tweezers for this one because I gotta kind of whip it around here. And in, voila. And una mas. Wonder bar. All right, now pull them through. Try to pull them roughly the same distances. See that one was a little bit loopy above, so I just pulled it harder. I'll do the same thing for this one, split these and then pull them individually to tighten it up. But once they're together, <laughs> Get that apart. So you can see there's a loose winding there, so I'm just gonna give that a tug. There it goes. And I think this one has the same issue, so just get it apart. And that one's actually well, one of them could use a tug, so we'll continue pulling there. And we got that one, it's this one. Okay, we got that. And then we have our two our end, beginning and end here are, one of them is pretty loose. Get 
looks like it's the end is fairly loose here. So let's There we go. Tighten that up. All right. Insert all the wiles, pull them firm from the underside, ensure there's no loose wires, which we just did. Cut them to about two millimeters. And then we're gonna just burn them out with 10 seconds of solder. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. So first off, we gotta get these cut down to about two millimeter. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting them at angles slightly so that the thing just doesn't fall right out. Although if we set the, the board down, it should be good. Some of those are longer than two millimeter, but we can trim them and grab some solder. I've got my iron at what it says is 434. Who knows if that's accurate? Okay. Yeah, some of these are definitely longer than two millimeter, but nah, we'll trim them later. didn't. All right. So let me just check my solders here. Uh, <laughs> those are definitely pretty long. I'm going to trim those down here. It's a lot of solder. Okay. All right, next we're gonna check some continuity in step eight of L12. And it says, on the reverse of the PCB, here, to check for continuity between pins three, four, five, six and nine of IC3. So that's here and here. That's six, five, four, three, right? Let me make sure I got that right. Three, there we go, three, four, five, six, Perfect. All right. And that's L12 installed. You can see it's not exact perfect again, or well, it's pretty close against the PCB, uh, you know, as opposed to where the, the outline for it is, but it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, there it is.